Well, if you think that environmental activists are all peace-loving tree huggers, guess again. Early this morning in a Seattle suburb, firefighters battled a blaze that engulfed four multi-million dollar homes. A sign was found at the scene by authorities that said, built green? Nope. Black. Along with the word elf printed on it. You may not have heard of ELF before. It's a calling card, according to authorities, for the Earth Liberation Front, a collection of radical environmentalists. Now the FBI is involved in the investigation. Ryan Levin is here. He's a director uh, for the Center of the Study of Hate and Extremism, associate professor at California State University in San Bernardino. Brian, if I'm not mistaken, these guys were the at one time the biggest terrorist threat in the uh, United States. They, they came from uh, Earth First, which were actually peaceful, Somewhat, and, and uh, Elf decided, you know what, we need to take action ourselves and take it into our own hands. Earth First was a group in the 80s, and they were involved in something called monkey wrenching, uh, the most notable of which was putting spikes in trees right. that could then injure mill workers. Uh, when they decided to go on a more peaceful route, they splintered, and uh, Elf uh, came about in about 1992, and in the mid to late 90s, Elf came here to the United States where they've committed acts of terrorism. Right, and, did, and didn't uh, the FBI at one point say that these are the most dangerous domestic terrorists that we have? Yeah, th there was a story about that, but to tell you the truth, there is a lot of debate within the uh, terrorism monitoring community, and I certainly don't agree with, uh, with that at all. Okay. Uh, ho however, it, it depends on what you're talking about. If you're talking about sheer money, damage, money damages and frequency of attacks, uh, the eco-terrorists well, are, are certainly a significant domestic terrorist threat. Well, I, 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 I personally define terrorism as somebody who is trying to cause terror to get people to change their, their uh, way of life. These guys believe that people are subservient to, uh, to animals and the earth and everything else, and they will do whatever they have to do. They'll burn things down. They'll destroy as much as they possibly can. I mean, here they are in, Californ in, uh, in Seattle, but they've done it in California. They start fires. Well, I mean, how smart is that, if you love the earth, to start fires in California and out west? It's not smart at all. And, and, and the damage that has result, resulted has been in the hundreds of millions of dollars. So I am not in any way uh, rallying for, for these individuals. What I am saying, though, as far as fatalities are concerned, there are certainly movements that pose a bigger threat sure. and have domestically and internationally. So sure. I don't want to say that... You know, no, no, these... no. They, 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 they're not targeting people, but I believe that it's only a matter of time before they cross that, uh, that, that line. This is a... I mean, look, this is a religion. The earth is becoming a religion to some of these nut jobs. We're sitting on a powder keg that is constantly having matches fl uh, flicked at it by people like Al Gore and this global warming movement. Well, I, I would like to make a big distinction because one of the things that, that, that I like to do is not take uh, legitimate areas of public debate and then uh, morph them into the terrorist angle of things because you, you can find people of goodwill on issues such as abortion and the environment, and then radicals that do wacky things, and we don't want to, you know. What I'm saying, what I'm saying to you, Brian, is, will you agree that these people, this is almost becoming a religion with these people? Yes. And it is a powder keg. It's only a matter of time before somebody gets hurt. Uh, on that angle, you're absolutely correct. Okay. Brian